I'm nailing a hole in here so I can put in the eye hooks, which we will then hang twine from. Fishing line. And if you look up on the wall there, there's more eye hooks. If you don't have a big gallery budget and you're trying to put together, you know, this this type of gallery, the great thing about eye hooks is they're reusable. These are probably from a year and a half ago when we first stuck them in the ceiling. And now they're completely mobile. You know, you can unscrew a screw so you can center the art wherever you want it. You can get them at your any at Office Depot. Hopefully you have a friend that works there. Because then you can get the nice discount. And this is really good for let's say we have a print on a piece of paper. Our gallery and every gallery is unique. It's set up with these runners so we can just clip art to them. And that might look like <laughs> shit, but if there was a nice piece of art in there, you wouldn't even notice the clip. tell her you were okay because the phone lines were jammed. Do you recall wondering where your family was that day? Wait! Here's a note. What's the note? Mount cassette player by clip on back or if not possible to use clip. Remove clip and use hole to hang it. What? Wow. I would like to say I have no <laughs> idea what this note means and it's nice of them to come in and help us hang and everything so we know how to hang their piece because we don't have a lot of other shit to do too. Space them out so they fill up the space. If you're gonna buy thread, you should buy at least a 170 to 180 pound thread, just because it's thicker. But also don't use thread, use fishing line, because the fishing line is transparent, so it doesn't really distract from your art. See, you can see me right through it. But something like that could be good for, say, a raw piece like that flag on the wall. So sometimes it's good to have both around. Yes. Argentina, 1890, Buenos Aires, interested, protected. Chile, 1891, Marines crashed with nationalist rebels. So, you know, you start off with tying from one to the wall, tying from the other wall, then you realize that's too hard to balance, so then you start doing a loop. Right. This way is a very effective method to make sure the painting is level, it makes it very easy to adjust, and if people hit it and it swings, it still goes back to the original spot. Usually it helps, too, if someone holds the art piece. A lot of times we get pieces that are wet, because our artists like to procrastinate. It's important as an antagonist member to work out in the gym because you gotta hold paintings like this. Sometimes you gotta develop the guns! What do you think about that height level? Because people will be walking around and then we can put more art underneath. That's good. You wanna tie that? Men, does that look level? Oh, Come on, not to you. Yeah, I've opened a shot, yes, it looks level, it works, it's wonderful. All right, nice work. Haiti, 1891, black root workers revolt on U.S. claimed Navassa Island defeated. Fantastic! The only reason the antagonist movement is cool is because we have men involved now. Otherwise, we wouldn't get shit done. <laughs> yeah. And we would Accents. have no flair, and we would just be a bunch of silly I have an accent. Well, yeah, got, not New York. Aren't yet, you so. behind the camera? You know, I really get pissed that. You, is that when is? you do the art shows, you have to also let the people know about it. You can't just be a closet artist if you're going to be doing a gallery thing. It's fine to we've do artwork and put it in a box and not show anyone. But that's not what we're doing. We've just shown you how to hang your own gallery. Now we're showing you how to promote the gallery. Not only that, we showed you how to make your own stinking art, how to make your own gallery. Now we're trying to show you how to get people to come to your gallery. So if by now you haven't done shit, well then you better reevaluate yourself as an antagonist. <laughs> Excuse me. I am Allie. Allie, nice to meet you. Callie. Callie? Okay, bar right there. Okay, come, look at the stuff, and then think about maybe you guys want to do a show. Somebody had already tagged this one, so we thought we'd make the girl thinking about the antagonist show as we waited for the bus. Hey, let's walk, guys.
April 24th, 2003. Hawks and Dove Show, sir! We're going to see a lot of artwork tonight. A lot of a lot of hot artwork uh, representing uh, artists' feelings toward Hawks and Doves. Supermarket, Bonaroba, Vic Ruggiero, and I don't know the name of the first band. The Natural Extension Committee, sir! The writer stuff we have, what, four or five people from Fahrenheit? That four are gonna, writers. Four writers that are going to be reading stuff that relates to Hawks and Doves. Sir, yes, sir! <laughs> This is a big night for all of you. Thank you so much for doing this. But listen, you have some amazing costumes on tonight. This is about the war. This is about the post-apocalyptic war. So think limping. Think ugly is beauty tonight. You people are beautiful. Pretend like you're ugly and then be beautiful again. It's about a met metamorphosis into a new thing. Oh, who can help but they're beautiful? Check out these nipples. It's game time tonight. Let's go. Are you people ready? Does anyone feel beautiful tonight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to thank y'all for coming tonight to our post-apocalyptic 9-11 and what are you going to do with that extra duct tape fashion show? Now, after 9-11, after the nuclear apocalypse, all milk is going to be contagious. It's going to drive you crazy, so he's got the udder to make you stay away. Boys, come with me. Uh, he deserves Come on, you address me. Come with me. D, am I, I got a duck here. I know that. Did I miss it? Did, did I miss it? No, you're doing good. Brother Mike Cohen, I yes. have to say that there's people tonight who have said that your piece is their favorite piece. Oh, that's How's that nice. Makes you feel being makes your me, first piece. Makes me feel good, man. I'm away from him. Go ahead and touch it, bro. Go ahead. Oh, Tell me how you like it. Yeah, baby, I like it. Why don't you put that in your mouth, baby? It looks like she's got the lid, but she's absolutely fine. Check out the headband she's got. She's half Cherokee and half Statue of Liberty. Marie, swing it around. Show that ass off. Marie's is gonna fuck with her because she's wearing yellow and a whistle. What do you have for the crowd? Give it to me. I feel like I feel like a fucking antagonist. I want to throw mouse traps at all yeah. you fucking guys. Yeah, mouse traps, <laughs> brother Mike. The antagonist movement will tell your friends when they catch you goat fucking. For the fatty antagonist, he wishes he was dying for Saddam, but instead he's wearing a mask for George Bush. Thank you. All right, Christian, that's enough. Who's next? Tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, all karma fair. Abajo, arriba, upstairs. You want to do an interview? What's up? It's a good collection of work. So many different perspectives on shit. Like, you got people who are completely against the fucking war. Me, myself, I'm like on the fence, so I have no decision on it because. I agree and I disagree at the same time. Well, I'll so, tell you this. A wise man once said, give me warm water, give me cold water. But water that's at room temperature, I spit it out. That's what I think about your fucking opinion. Ah. I spit you out. Yes. Yes.
I'd let, I'm showing you a metaphor for the U.S. involvement in Iraq. Eventually, we're gonna fall in the fucking shit and drown. fucking love this show so far Why? And, um, because it's actually going pretty smoothly even though uh, uh, louder half of us are drunk louder! louder half are high and all of us are crazy listen Lucho, you say that you're on the fence but your piece is of a baby holding a grenade yeah and a, a gun no no, it's, it's, just, it's a just a baby, a, a baby and a grenade. I love your piece, by the way. I want to that trade with you, but we'll talk Thank about it Thank you, sir. Later. Thank you, sir. Um, well, that's exactly. I mean, sometimes you'll see my pieces swaying one way. Sometimes you'll see my pieces swaying another way. Hi, Christine. Hey. Welcome to the Antagonist Movement NYC chapter, Antagavision.com, where you see people pissing, people drinking, people drinking. We've got an interview. Go. Can you say and spell your name for the camera, please? My name is Sylvia Ortiz. S Y L V I A O R T I Z. And can you tell us how you got involved with the antagonist movement? How'd you end up here tonight? It was kind of like an accident. Ohio, 1892, suppresses silver miners' strike. Hawaii, 1893, independent kingdom overthrown, annexed. Are you nearly ready for someone else? Yes, we are. Good, sir. No, 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 no. Allah is king. You have a bunch of green army men super glued to a fucking ice cube tray. How does that portray your opinion about the British and being Well, blue I just and happened red, to right? make that piece. Uh huh. That was kind of about war in general, and then you were having a show. Yeah, about you know war. what? I think Crispy and I are going to go down to Cuba. You can stay here in America. You guys have, you guys, without a doubt, Ethan's like, you know, why don't you blah, 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 come do this. And I'm like, we play tape with my parents, that's funny. Uh, you guys have totally inspired me to get fucking motivated and write. And, you know, f the tapes of my parents are funny, whatever, ha, ha, ha. But to fucking write, man, that's that's uh. fucking, I, I can't tell you how much pleasure I've gotten out of uh, fucking writing. It's, it's totally inspired me. Like, I can't wait to hear the theme. And all week, I'm like, what am I going to write? What am I going to write? Chicago, 1894, breaking of a rail strike, 34 killed. It's not, it's everything. It's stand-up. It's social comedy. It's humor, For you know. These days, though, it's a, it's a right, that's every that's fucking thing. right. That's, that's how, how it is. I'm I'm happy to be part of it, man. It's it's wonderful. <laughs> Dan's got a small dick, so does Ethan, and so does uh, Anders. But when you put them all together, it's like Voltron. Like Chris, but Chris forms the head. See, Chris forms the head. What we've got are two pieces here. We've got one of a chick and one of a dude holding his cock. Here's a litmus test. When you're in the art world, there's a lot of, well, there's a lot of gay people, and a lot of people don't know they're gay. So our litmus test is, if you like the painting that's a chick, you're not gay. If you like the painting that's a dude holding his penis, you're gay. You know, fuck the little dick shit. I, you know, it fits in my mouth, so it's all right, you know. Beret rhymes with gay. Usually it's not kosher to uh, lick your paintings. I use the word <laughs> oh, kosher because Ethan's Jewish. <laughs> One, most paint is poisonous. Two, artists generally don't like tongues on their pieces. Um, if you come back for the, the, what is it, the fetish show, maybe there'll be more tongue licking art, but. You share my body with me. I'm here by your seven cost dinner, but I'll make you some fetish cheating. Do you understand my pain? Thank you very much. 
spread, spread peace and, and uh, love and stuff. And... Dude, why are you fucking with our interview? I'm not. I know you're in the middle of... Why are you going to be a dictator? I got to run How are you band. dressed and how am I dressed? You Take think you a can little bit of the band. What with band this camera. Is what band is it? Bono Robot. Oh, why does everyone always put me off when I have the camera? Because I hate fucking cameras. I'd describe it as sex rock. I thought I read someplace that it was dirty white boy rock and roll. That, yeah, that too. The antagonist movement are full of dirty people with bad faces. I like the antagonist movement because they're people with ideas. And they have ideas like normal people. The antagonist movement, those guys, <laughs> suck movement, you know, those guys, they're great, I love them all. There's a war on capitalism? <laughs> right here in this basement there is. Really? Oh, yeah. I don't have photographic training, but it came naturally, and I just picked up a camera one day, and since then I've sort of very humbly started approaching it. What do you think about the war with Iraq and Iran and Syria and the whole... It's not with Iran this. and Syria yet, dude. Whatever. It's what with you, Iraq, and then we go to Syria, and the winner of that fights Iran. All right, it's like the fucking, uh... Oh, it's like that's that's my tournament. Channel. Like in Karate Kid, it was like Miyagi Dojo and the... Yeah, but... Get my protein shake on. All right, can I ask you a question, Jimmy, real quick? Yeah, How do you dog. think you're doing something new tonight? It's all about you doing the antagonist free radio, and do you think that people are hearing your message? Not really, but, you know... What do you want to do? It doesn't hear? really matter, man. There's probably... Not that many people are hearing any of the messages going What's your objective? Days, man. What's your objective? Today? My objective is to educate one person tonight. Well, you educate me every time I fucking talk to you. Well, then that job's done, Dan. What can I say, man? Nicaragua, 1894, month-long occupation of Bluefields. China, 1894 to 95, Marines land in the Sino-Japanese War. Do you want to sip of my vodka Red Bull? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. I'm not going to drink out of the straw, though. I haven't drank out of the straw. He doesn't drink out of the straw. I don't drink out of the straw. He replaces the straw. I'm going to get lipstick on your straw. The past year, I've been hitting the books, basically, and learning the basics, and then um, I personally believe that you have to learn the rules before you can break them. At the same time as we're speaking right now, there's people like wearing night goggles and fucking jumping through fucking fiery hoops through buildings and shit. So, Diane Bowen. You say and spell your name for the camera, please. Me? Wait, can I do what I want to be known as? Yeah. Yeah, whatever you want. Right. It's up to you. Okay, it's just TR. It's T period R period. Okay. All right. And what was your piece in the show tonight? My piece was uh, the Fidel painting. It's called El Presidente. Why did you do Fidel? Uh, because I'm a big admirer of Fidel's. I admire everything that he does. The picture is actually the grave of the grandparents of my husband. I'm exhibiting two photographs. They're both from my apocalyptic series. One is a photo taken in the Rocky Mountains on a foggy day. The other one is a photo of New York called Fire in the Sky, which is very much, you know, New York is my city and I love it dearly, but I've seen it go through some pretty difficult times over the past while. And so it's my little love letter and, and sort of mourning for the city. Do you think Crispy looks like a good dictator? I could be a good dictator, right? Every day. Do you think that I could be his right-hand man? Korea, 1894 to 96. We could do something, right? I'm planning on taking over Cuba when Castro dies. If you guys All right, how about really? Let's bring right, her in let's, here. There's a picture. Let's do that. This is, a, this is the Mount Rushmore of the future Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're pro-anti, right? Yeah. Um, did you go to the protests when the protests happened? Actually, I'm anti-test. Mm, so I can. Yeah, pop quizzes suck. I'm not, I don't like them. <laughs> I agree. No, I, I work every Saturday, and they always have protests on Saturdays. 
Where do you work? Like, how is that a protest? It's like your day off anyway. So, like, what are you... What the hell are you really doing? I don't know. Instead of watching TV, you're going to fucking I'm working at my record store. When war occurs, you need to open your mouth and fucking say something. Because if you don't, more people are lost. Kept in Seoul during the war. Panama, 1895. Marines land in the Colombian province. So be hot. Um, ice cube tray with some soldiers. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. No, we love that fucking pizza. Maybe what are the ice cubes made out of? They're, it's plastic. It's a two-part, two-part plastic. That you, it's like it comes in liquid and you pour it together and it just has a chemical reaction because it's plastic. It's great, actually. All right. Nicaragua, 1896. Marines land in Port of Corinto. You're from Canada? Yep. You know a kid named Gabriel? No. Gabriel Cotudema? He's uh, French-Canadian. Ah. No, where are you from in Canada? Um, I'm. I grew up in Toronto, but I'm from the west side, from Edmonton, Alberta. Why did you? You can't escape us, Ethan. Damn! She's ready for 9-11 again, or 9-12, or whatever it's going to be. Uh, Andrew. I'm sure you can spell that. Baron's masked protester. That was pretty much the first time the cops kind of formed a line and were going to start moving people out of the street. And uh, I took another picture of that girl, and she looks, she looks like she's posing. It's almost like... Um, it almost doesn't look real. And I took that picture and I looked to the left of me, and there were actually people, like, giving their friend a camera, running and standing in front of the cops and being like, take my picture, I'm a protester. Um, my favorite one was with Bush fucking Saddam up the ass. That's yeah, it was the best good, one. right? The Mike collage. Cohen, ah, Mike Cohen, first-time artist. Brother Mike, <laughs> put your hands together. Brother Mike Cohen. All brother right. Mike Cohen. <laughs> brother. <laughs> I just put that. I just put that in because I thought it'd be be funny to have to have the two world leaders having anal sex. Just because, like, that makes that makes me fucking laugh. I was there for two reasons. One was to protest the war. The other was to take pictures. Man, Arturo, step up there and give the crowd something they're looking for. Ah, Arturo, Arturo, Arturo Vega. The best thing about this is she could be pregnant, she could be not, but she's wearing a high waisted dress to hide it. Cuba, 1898 to 1902. Troops seized from Spain. Still holds Navy base. All right, here's the deal. Smoke a little pipe for the people. Crispy and Dan Tagonis were two artists. We used to be geniuses years ago. But now that we are half geniuses, we unite to form one genius. We make pieces of work. We make artwork. It's amazing. It's ingenious. It might be simple. It might be strong. We might not be able to paint anything, but we will be able to do something that will fucking invoke you to fucking action. We will invoke you... Is invoke the right word? Yeah, sure. We will bring you to action. We will bring you to hate. We will bring you to love. We will bring you to something. We will bring you to fucking think we're shitty artists. We'll bring you to the mall. But we will never, never will we charge you for something. You know why? Because we send our work to people we deem fitting. We send our work to somebody who we think will appreciate it. And if we think you won't appreciate it, we might send you two pieces. But we never charge money for our painting because it's not about the product. We make our shit and we send it. Puerto Rico, 1898, troops cease from Spain, occupation continues. Guam, 1898, troops cease from Spain, still use the debate. Battle over secession to throne. Nicaragua, 1899. Marines land at Port of Bluefield. The name itself is proffering more, isn't it? This fashion show brought to you by Fabulous and Fierce. An uprising of those folks. Uprising in itself is... It's a warful term. Why do we have this built into the language construct? I really like these Sunday nights, this Fahrenheit shit. This is, you guys have inspired me to like fucking All right, write. everybody group hug. And, 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 Yo, <laughs> come on, zoom it out. Group hug. Oklahoma, 1901, Army Battles Creek Indian Revolt. Mwah. 
Mwah. Oh, yeah. Panama, 1901 to 1914. Girl Golf from Columbia, 1903. Annex to Canal Zone from 1914 to 1999. Honduras, 1903. Marines Intervention and Revolution. Dominican Republic, 1903 to 1904, U.S. interests protected in revolution. Korea, 1904 to 1905, troops, Marines, land in Sino-Japanese War. Cuba, 1906-09, troops, Marines, land in democratic election. Nicaragua, 1907, troops...